Time for calf roping. Well, Bob, what do you think? Well, the calf roping has been uh, tough all the way along this whole week. We have seen some fast times. In fact, this young man about to come in here right now has not taken over nine seconds on any calf he's rope. And he's been in the eight-second zone, everyone. Mike McLaughlin, he rodeos for Reno. He hails from Fort Worth, Texas, and four times he's been to the National Finals Rodeo. He's a 1982 National Finals average winner. Here's another wrap-up. It looks like it's going to be a fast one, too. I'm estimating under a 10 anyway, Red. Eight, eight and six. <laughs> How about that? Now you just ride forward and let the calf lay there for six seconds without getting up, because if he gets up, it's no score. So here's Paul Tierney, Rapid City, South Dakota, rides for Rodeo America. He's world champion calf roper in 1979. Been to the NFR, both in steer wrestling and the calf roping, seven times. He's a national uh, all-around champion, too, 1980. Both those events, the spotted horse he rides in Appaloosa, which he rides in favor of the Appaloosa Association as well, where he could pick up a bonus of $50,000 if the horse should win the world championship. Here's a fast time, oh. and one. Of course, that time's not official until he gives his calf a chance to get up. As we discussed earlier, he's got six seconds. Now it's official. Nine and one. Well, the calf rope sure has gotten tight, man. It has. Uh-oh. It might get a little tighter. <laughs> it could <laughs> always be. Let's watch this guy, Roy Cooper. Go right for Copenhagen Skull. Let's see if we can see some of his unique. Look at there. The dismount. Down in about three steps. The wrap, he's got to be quick. One, two, three. That's it. Oh, 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 Fast time. Isn't that something? You know, all year people have wondered where has Roy Cooper been in our world standings because Larry Robinson has been leading the world all year long. And this money counts towards world standingship. And Cooper has done Eight it again. 8-1. He's been hot on this tour. You know, he won Austin and Reno. Yes. And he's got a pretty good chance of going to the finals here. Hmm. All right, Clark Hankins. Here's a qualified young calf roper, Rock Springs, Wy uh, Rock Springs, Texas. I almost said yeah. Wyoming. Ben, you're from Texas. You could get by with that. I couldn't. <laughs> As I'm from Texas, I better say Rock Springs, Texas. 1982 PRCA Rookie of the Year rides for United Airlines. Look at his face, Bob. Oh, he's intense, isn't he? I'm glad we got this monitor so we can see what's going yeah. on down there. Look at the deep breath. Every athlete seems to do this deep breathing before any type of competition. There's a good start. He's down to the calf, Red. Throws him. There's one, two, only two wraps and a half hitch. A gamble time. Two wraps and a hoo, uh -huh. as you say in the arena. Now hmm. that's a gamble time. He's got the six seconds to wait here now to see if this calf regains his feet. He's not struggling. The gamble paid off, 8.1. So Roy Cooper and Clark Hankins will go to the finals. And thank you, Lionel and Rose, and thank you, Pam. Bob, it's time for fast horses, long loops, and heavy calves. Boy, you know, I was going over the records here, and I can't believe Mike McLaughlin roped five calves this week under nine seconds and didn't even make it to the finals here. Can you believe that? That is some calf roping now. And he gets tough every week and doesn't seem to make any difference how big the calves are. Clark Hankins, Rock Springs, Texas, rides for United Airlines. He goes first against the great Roy Cooper, Duran, Oklahoma. Roy sets the pace, gets the legs over the tie. Three wraps and a half hitch. He didn't do the two wraps on this one, did he? He wanted no, to make sure he, here. Sure. he was first. And he has an 8-6. And we'll make it official as soon as the judge nods his head. We've got six seconds to him. Half didn't get up. 8.6 for Clark Hankins. Now, he gave Roy Cooper something to shoot at. He but sure Roy did. Cooper is used to shooting at fast time. I want to I wanna see if Roy Cooper has a second loop on. Those of you who watched our telecast, he doesn't. All he knows he's got to be quick here today. Look at this. Down, fast. Come on, Roy. you got to be less than... Whoa, man! Talk about lightning fast. This guy's been on a fast pace. You know, he hired a Learjet to get him back here today. Seven, and look six. at this. Seven, six. And he used three wraps and a half hit. He didn't take a chance. He didn't gamble. He was just faster than Clark. And that kid's wore boots ever since he was a kid. He didn't even practice tying shoes. Clark's going to go out there and congratulate him. Yeah. That's what rodeo is all about. Yeah. Um, we see. Fast times, excitement, camaraderie. What's Roy get on this calf now? Here's the throw, down to the ground, watch the string, come around, together, one, two, and three. Pam has Roy down on the arena floor right now. 
Yeah. Roy Cooper, you're absolutely amazing. There's been four tournament rodeos. You've won three of them. You knew you had to be under 8'6". What is it that you call from within to make you so fast? Well, I wouldn't know, Pam. I had a really a good cast, and uh, you just had to let it roll and see what happened. I made a smoke and run. You did make a smoke and run, but there's more to it than that. I mean, the calf it looked like you got jerked down. You just lifted him up and went with your tie. Well, I think it's uh, your time, and then uh, don't panic. Don't beat yourself when you're open. It's uh, against the clock, so you I, you know you know run so many heads. You run so many. You know uh, about when 8-6 comes around. <laughs> you did an incredible job again for the third time, the calf roping champion, Roy Cooper. Cooper.